Okay, microphone's on as well. Just gotta bring my chair a little closer. Lay this back. Lift the feet up. All right. Um, I think, unfortunately, some people were trying to talk to me and get together on Discord, but we were an hour apart, unfortunately. It looks like they're not online right now. They may come online later, so we'll see. So, with no one available to do any multiplayer games right now, we'll just go ahead and stick ourselves into Solaris and see what we can get up to with our platypus dragon worshippers. Alright, so, we are back with the United Spiritual Union of Platicians. And once again, just a little overview of what we have going on for us with the dragon worshipping. Well, I guess it's not really worshipping, but just the acknowledgement that the dragon is there. Alright, and I did add in the mid-game crises from the uh, mod event they got going on. We'll just go ahead and have all crises, because why not? Oops, hold on. How do I... Consecutive crosses spawn a random mod at crisis at the mid game date from those allowed. What when that crisis ends, another allowed mod at crisis will be randomly spawned within five to ten years. How do I get rid of this thing? Oh, there we go. Confirm, 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 confirm on the ghillies. Alright, so is it Hrosgar? It is Hrosgar of the Endless Flames. Once again, we got him back. Wait, why do I have this? Can I get rid of this? Wow, that's going to stay up there the whole time. That's no fun. Because now it's these. It's blocking these. Okay, so wait. I already did this, though. Reload forward, return, form, UI mod support. Uh, well, I hope that disappears at some point, because until then we're stuck with it. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're dealing with right now. It is a different style galaxy once again. I believe this is the cartwheel. Okay, uh, and it looks pretty similar. We got two lines essentially going in and out of each other. We're stuck right here on the outer edge, which could be a boon, could not be. It depends on if there's a crisis that's going to come at us from this side. We'll see. Alright, but as we've learned before, we can't just invest solely in our economic powers. We have to invest into our military at the same time. So I think it'd be better just to keep with the field manipulation or whatever, pray tell, our, our scientists' uh, main um, uh, profession, trait, attribute, whatever you want to call it. Whatever this one is, just focus on that one. I did also increase the research time to two times because it felt like it was going by really fast. So we'll go for the first one. Field manipulation, modulation. Modulate fields allowed for increased production and improved energy yields. And for this one, um, let's, uh, let's follow, like I said before, let's follow the ones that unlock paths. So we'll go for planetary unification. Grant a lot of sum of unity, monthly unity increased by 5%, unlocks features of additional edicts. Ancient warring tribes, historical nations in conflict, now unified in empire, we must not, will not crumble. And then of course, ah, maybe I should change the name to so something a bit more pronounceable. But Mahar right here is a master at propulsion. Do we have any, ooh, we got two choices. We have coil guns or afterburners. Um, and this one does unlock the kinetic weapons path. Coil guns are more powerful versions of the early mass drivers using electromagnetic coils to rapidly accelerate projectiles toward targets. Go for that. Research, go ahead and put you onto automatic surveying. How are we looking over here in the ocean world? All right. And okay. Let's go ahead and get this going. 
Put us on to fast speed just to have things going by a little quicker. And let's see. So we're good on that. We're doing 61. Only three influence though. So that's going to be a hamper. You know what? Let's, uh, let's go in here and try and force our guys to go for our minerals right off the bat. Go ahead and build that. Uh, pro t uh, prototype exploration cruiser. As we head out on our first expeditions, well, you know what? I'm, maybe, I'm probably not going to read, read this again because it's the same thing as last time. So for this one, go Situation for an excellent idea. Updated. Go ahead and research that. That will give us another science ship and exploration cruiser at that. So it'll be much better. Comrade Kenya, hey, there you are. And yes, once again, it is Rosgar indeed. All right, have it a world survey, Situation commendable initiative. Updated. And just to prove that point, here it is, Hrosgar of the Endless Flame. So we have Hrosgar once again to lead us into glory, that is, of the Plat Platicians. Platicians. Uh, Vital elements, a strange phenomenon deep in the core of Amagathora 3A, has resulted in a lot of minerals and chemicals fusing and reacting together to form very rare elements. Heavy elements. The constant tectonic activity had pushed most of those to the surface with proper equipment. This could provide a good addition to our mining efforts. Wait, what? Where are the oppressors? Oh, no. New, new game. New game is what this is. This will be uh, the official weekend streams from now on. So this is the this is going to be an official one now instead of just the trial ones that we were doing before. Uh, okay, hundred percent, hundred points of experience. Add one alloy and three fifty five in society research. Construction complete. Construction is done with that. Alrighty, now. Did adding any of the new mid games add anything different? No. All right. So if we go by what we are, which is fanatic spiritualists and goody two shoes egalitarians, we gotta figure out our way and what to do with that. So believe it or not, I think the first one that we should do instead is this one, foundation. Others try to spread their empires far and wide. We work towards a deeper and more fundamental goal. Research speeds increased by 5%. Uh, governing ethics attraction increased by 15%. Empire size effect plus 50%. And the fishing one is a plus one to code breaking. Infiltration speed up by 25%. Unity plus 15% from any jobs, which is very good since we have priests. Centralized government, which is even better. Intelligence Gathering Core. It will also increase our survey speed, monthly influence, and increase your resource output by all specialist populations. So we'll go for this one. Alright, start building that. Should have gotten the Shadow Cast. Eh, yeah. Special but I mean, we kind of... We, we The last playthrough was pretty much overrun, so this is just a fresh start for it. Engineers were successful. The brand new prototype exploration cruiser has been completed and is ready for orders. Nice. All right, so we have survey speed. Nice. Okay. No, 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 not research. On max surveying. Go, go, go. All right, nothing else to worry about there. Well, here, just go over it again. Fanatic spiritualists with uh, minor egalitarianisms. We have the angler traits and the exalted priesthoods. We are a holy tribunal with also a space dragon. Complete. And of course, uh, this is the cartwheel map on this time. I do uh, should mention this. I do have all the new mid-game crises DLC, uh, not DLC found. mods that they have. Uh, ancient orbital shipyard drift in the silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. That's over 100 days though, so we'll leave that be for right now. Double back if we have to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And let me 
just go ahead and take a look at our policies. We are going to be expansionist for the beginning. Complete. Come on. All right. A common cause. We are all united in a common cause. Every one of us knows that they are an important cog in the machinery that works towards our goal. Go with that. Yes, hopefully these new planets are not cursed. We have Sapphire Rains. Okay, I don't know about you, but Sapphire Rain from the sky seems like a terrible thing. Extremely high participation of aluminum oxide in the upper atmosphere of the world causes the weather to form microscopic sapphires that clump and crystallize together, forming entire sapphire gems that rain down everywhere. Yeah, no, raining precious stones sounds nice, but I bet that's a terrifying thing to be under. And on Rise Over 3, we have toxic gas and delicious ingredients. Quickly forming and disappearing, small volcanic geysers regularly spew forth toxic gases from within the planet. Our colonists need to take extreme caution when traveling through uncharted territory here. Immigration plus 37%, population amenity use increased by 15%, habitability minus 7%. However, delicious ingredients, the fauna and flora of this world, are unusually tasty. Consumer goods from artisans increased by 0.75, which doesn't really matter because we have the anglers and the pearl divers. Food from jobs increased by 15% and max agricultural districts increased by one. No problem at all. All right, so we're all finished there. We should be finishing up research over here. Uh, building wise, okay, we are at two. Let's see. Uh, let's just go for a hollow theater so we can get a nice chunk of amenities right away. Discovery, Hive Runes. Our scientist, Eshmon, Eshmon Healy's. And that's all the basics. After extensive analysis, we have discovered that the fossilized remnants of the world to have thousands of unusual synapse nodes spread upon them. These appear to serve as massive biofactories that churn out the endless swarms of bioforms. These hive worlds, as we have named them, seem to have been living creatures in their own right, incorporating millions of bioengineered organisms. Each hive world has a perfect biological, uh, yeah, biological factory capable of creating trillions of small and large organisms through gene replication and splicing that allowed them to adapt on every new world environment they encountered. We can only hope these types of creatures no longer exist. Rosgar is love. Rosgar is life. True. Truer words have never been said. Let's see. Uh, take a second look. Log updated. All right, we have that being built and. Okay, not to have like a mild panic attack, but I smell burnt toast, and as far as I know, no one is cooking toast. I'm not going to die from an aneurysm right now, am I? No, the smell disappeared. Okay. False alarm, no aneurysm. Uh, rare crystals discovered. Okay. Eternal tornadoes deep within the atmosphere of the gas giant Rhizor 8 in the Rhizor system rage, rage extremely long-lasting tornadoes. These massive vortexes moved in other directions. The planet is spinning at roughly the same speed, making them look like they never move. On top of that, the science ship has so far never seen a vortex like this disappear. It seems like they last forever. Intriguing. Yes, hopefully this time we do not meet an outright hostile neighbor right away. Uh, dead planet when the sign ship... Okay, we gotta also change the name of Exploration Cruiser because ISX Exploration Cruiser is a dumb name. Try to do a standard tectonic scan on the planet Rhizor 6A as part of the survey routine. It's got no results. Most specifically, it got one result. This planet is dead. The core of this world has completely cooled and solidified into a single ball of dense iron and magnesium. It's theorized that even with the most advanced of technologies, it would be impossible to make this world live again by terraforming it. Remarkable. 300 experience, 3 points of engineering, and another 500 points of experience. Yeah, like just, just a neutral neighbor really would be for the best. And we're actually still having to fully research these areas. Still got a little more for the hollow theaters, which is actually fine and probably for the best so that we can build up our minerals. That burning smell is getting really big. Hang on, I, I think something in the kitchen has caught fire. I'll be right back. I hope it hasn't. Yeah, 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 pause, pause, pause.
Okay, false alarm. No fire, no aneurysms, all is well. Alright, and for our next tradition, we have... smoky though <clears throat> uh, intelligent gathering core our intelligent gathering cores travel the galaxy and continuously send information back home about the state of the galaxy this information is vital to our cause or at least to minimize disturbance from the outside uh, just looking at the reward perks I think we're going to go ahead for this one because it does give us a 20% boost to surveying get that and nothing else Oh yes, comrade. We have L gates enabled. System I, I gotta complete. learn how to live with the L gates, because if not, we're just always going to be afraid of them, and that's not something we want. Colossal impact crater, that's something big. Hints that something big collide with the surface on this planet once. Uh, FTL impact. A massive crater on Riser 7 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that the ship exiting, exiting a hyperlane at maximum velocity rammed the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. The ISS Exploration Cruiser has picked up residual subspace echoes near the craft site reminiscent of a collapsed hyperparticulate hyper field, but as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, a theory cannot be verified. Sorry, we probably could have held our own. Yeah, if the Rand hadn't attacked us, we probably would have done a little bit better because we had Hrosgar to defend us. Uh, policies. Let me go ahead and do policies really quick and just slow game time down while I'm looking through these. Uh, we'll go for... System survey complete. I think we'll go for defensive wars for right now. Wreck Juggernaut, okay. So that's an engineering bonus and a thousand engineering points. Uh, subjugations, we are egalitarian, so we're going to turn this into benevolent vassalage. Orbital bombardment will be selective. Resettlement, policy controls whether or not we are allowed to forcibly relocate pops between planets. I think this is okay because we sometimes need to do this to move people into actual working positions rather than just stay forever and be a dependent on the planet. Uh, strategic resource discovered, living metal, very nice. Initial border status is open, first contact protocol. I think that becomes an event, so we'll leave that be. Economy. Consumer goods from jobs, alloys from jobs. I mean, with farmers, this, you know what? We're going to go ahead and turn into a militarized economy because the farmers with the anglers, it gets us 10 consumer goods right there. And we also stack up on food, which is never a bad thing to sack up on. The old world, home to buried, decrepit buildings. Depri 1 used to be inhabited by a forgotten civilization. It is unclear how far the civilization advanced, though it is believed it has never gotten beyond the age of swords and spears. Largely broken down stone buildings, half-buried palaces, and crumbling walls were found, but no sign of steel or any advanced building material. How the life of such a young civilization was stuffed out is unclear. Astounding. 120 experience points, plus 2 society, and 7 minor artifacts with 303 in engineering. Ah, uh, produce, uh, suggesting a bill to increase our alloy production. Very acceptable, very acceptable. Well, technically we did when we turned our economy into a militarized one. Go back to the policies. Alright, uh, trade policy, we can only do one. Robotic workers, because we are fanatic spiritualists, we are going to outlaw these guys right away. Research debris or scavenge debris. What the hell's the difference? We can decide whether we should research the scavenge of fleets. Okay, um... Hmm. Yeah, no, we're gonna research their things. Refugees. Refugees are welcome because, again, egalitarians. Population crows prohibited. Slavery prohibited. Purges prohibited as well. 
surveying policy, we have away teams. Standard scanning procedures. What is this to anomaly research speed? Anomaly means to discovery chance plus five percent. Uh, hundred percent survey seed, science ship upkeep minus eighty percent. Now I prefer this. The even the smallest chance to discover another anomaly is something that can give you just that extra little edge over someone. So keep with that. Uh, research diversity. Nah, this will take away some of ours, so I'll just leave that. And I don't really care about the military thing. Standard is always good for us. Uh, volatile moats. All right. Bring us back up to double speed. And we can also finally start building. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get ourselves another construction ship right away. You guys are researching. Uh, while you're on this way, go ahead and research that point. And next tradition. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. Alloy foundries are very important because we found out right away last time. Okay, we have progressive economy or a centralized government. Uh, increase by 10% for engineering, energy credit, physics, society, and trade value. Essentially everything aside from food. And the more and more we research our administrative path, the bigger the bonus we get. And this will lead us to a monthly influence point. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to go ahead for our centralized government because I want that influence point to claim more territory. Our government is centralized to our capital from which it can govern the relatively few number of worlds that we control. So we'll go for that. All right, the Hall of Theater is up and running. And as the Council of Priests have suggested, we will go ahead and build an alloy foundry right away. All right, okay, so we have the first league this time around. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Sarustus III. If what we have learned from these artifacts is correct, this civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League and appear to have coexisted in relative peace some two million years ago. Though the Sistival system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory, a partial map found among their artifacts indicates that this league First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse. Interesting. Situation log updated. And we have a wondrous world discovered as well. Wondrous planet. Scientist Hanifilis on board the ISS Peripolis has made a discovery. A very unusual feature was discovered on this world during our first scientific expedition to the surface. Our scientists were awestruck by the significance it represents of all the theories, all the discoveries, all the worlds explored in the past. No one has seen something quite like this before, a true wonder of the galaxy. 300 experience, 101 society, 79, no, 79 society, 101 physics, 79 engineering, 159 unity, and the doctrine of fleet support. Uh, exotic gases have been discovered. Wow, we're actually discovering a lot of rare resources here right away. All right. You come over here. I'm going to have one person building star bases, the other one going to the other places to build the stations for everything. Contact reports remnants. The Union is abuzz with news of the alien remnants that were recently studied. These leavings are considered definitive proof of intelligent, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone now, but we are at least not the first to be so. Remarkable. All right, nothing there. First contact protocols. We will greet the Xenos with open arms. Right, right. Thank you for reminding me. Always stay on top of this. Expand as much as we can to get as many resources as we can as quickly as we can. So we'll get a colony ship in the works right as well. The council has spoken. Uh, we still got a little bit of time for that to finish up. You know what? I'm also going to go ahead and get one more science ship, and we're going to see if we can find a scientist who's good at archaeology. Not only discovery, not only discovery, survey, leader lifespan. Special project complete. Your survey and not only discovery chance. Yeah, no, I want you out there. Discovery hive ruins after spending an extended time studying the remarkable features of the plant are okay. Support the science team has made several discoveries. Uh, it's just blah, blah, blah. Filler. 100 experience. 472 in society. We unlocked gas pods research. And 635 in unity. Oh, yeah. While we're at it. Change this name. Exploration Cruiser is dumb. 
Hrozgar's Hrozgar's light. Um, that sounds like a military ship name, really. Oh, I know, I know. Hrozgar's sight. The sight of the god will reveal everything for us. For who knows more than an actual space dragon? Alright. Now, finally, also, the grand design. Central to everything is the grand design, which is Hrozgar's idea. It is this that we follow, and only a few know it down to the smallest detail. Monthly influence increased by one. Nice. Again, I really kind of like influence to be above five. Once it's above five, it increases very fast. Anomaly found. Uh, there are signs of activity by an ancient precursor station 442. Leave that be. Come on. Give me a... Not only a research chance survey. Leader lifespan. Construction I'm going to wait complete. to see if it cycles through one more time, and hopefully there will be an archaeologist in one complete. of them. Alright, you go ahead back to surveying, you finished over there, come over here, we're going to get a colony ship for them, get you right there, and it's easier just to do it like this. Uh, you know what, we are below 10 housing now, so we're going to go ahead System and build some city complete. districts. Survey completed, nice. Colony ship one is on the way. All right, next tradition. We'll finish this off with progressive economy. Other empires may draw resources from their vast realms, something we may not. To still be able to compete, we have been forced to reshape the very fundamentals of our economy. While a realm might not be as resourceful as those of others, even the most plentiful of realms is not as resourceful as the people which populate ours. Resource output from all specialists increased by 10%. Finish that off, and also with the finishing, we get plus one to code breaking and infiltration speed increased by 25%. All right, so I am still of the favored idea of keeping with the original idea and go with slow learners, because this will give us one, two, four free ascension points and a big chunk of unity at the same time every single time. Monthly unity also is increased by 10 Situation Slow learners, go ahead and research this to give us veteran armies, and get the go going again. Okay, sign ship is made. Has they been changed to something useful? No. Mm -mm. All right. Um, do we have any actual? We do. So you know what? I I want it done right away because the, again, the sooner we get these resources, the better advantage we could possibly have. Sometimes it can lead to things that are very bad. Construction complete. Alright, Threat Juggernaut is under ours. Found. A Class 12 asteroid orbits this moon. This small planetoid's orbit appears far too stable for its presence to be a natural occurrence. Go ahead and research that. We are spreading our faith to a new world. Alright, first colony is down. And we are now out of influence. Toad Asteroid. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Radonna 8A. The massive engine uh, sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations seemingly abandoned shortly after they begun. Interesting. Alright, so you could just go ahead and move over there. Now, let me go ahead and see. We have dust caverns for one moat, one gas extraction, and a crystal mine. Oh, wow. So we have three rare resources on this planet. That's really good for us. Uh, and also, no blockers. Wow, no blockers is really rare. All right, get that going. Unfortunately, because we now have new colonies, we're going to lose a bit of our population from emigration. Um, yeah, we're going to save the wrecked juggernaut. Life uh, finds way. A large, mostly sealed cavern system has been found on Radonland 3. A small drone of ours had penetrated the surface of this world to do a mineral and soil study and stumbled upon this cave system by accident. To all our surprise, it is filled with life. A sprawling, self-sustaining ecosystem has managed to survive here. This world must have supported a much wider variety of life at some point in its life cycle. 100 points of experience, plus 5 to society, and deep space defenses to research acquired. 
Alright, uh, that should anomaly be enough. Found. Science officer has found an anomaly. It will require extensive probing, but could garner a substantial fine. Build that. You're building that. Okay, keep going. Uh, alloy production is at 33. Nothing appears to be at risk of going into the red. Explosions in the sky. The planet Redomin 5 is home of a marvel of nature. Giant colorful explosions appear in the sky, a result of the chemical composition of the atmosphere reacting to the sun's gamma rays. Students and senior scientists alike are spreading this find like wildfire. It has generated quite a spark of interest for the scientific field amongst our people. 20% survey speed and 20% anomaly research speed increase for 20... 10 years, sorry. Alright, so archaeology work has begun. Anomaly found. Uh, there's a significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural from orbit. The massive rifts look almost like writing. Oh, I think this is the mercenary story who literally laser beamed his life story into a planet. Should we get another foundry? Uh, no, we want um, housing because we are below 10 housing. Yep. Alien writing. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Redomin uh, 7. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Plus three to Recite. Construction complete. All right, nice. You come over here. System survey complete. Toxic terraforming candid found. This happened so many times, I'm not going to read the terraform things ever. There are just so many of them. All right, colony the is about to make landfall in the wisdom. next island. All right, field manipulation. Okay, so we have two things here. Pause, pause, pause. Another wrecked juggernaut. Nice. All right, so we got a civilian research before in physics. We'll go for a military one. We'll get some improved deflectors. These update deflector screens are capable of soaking up even more punishment before they overload. I'm sorry, I got a coffee in. I don't want to say anything too bad, but I think they burned the food pretty bad out there. <coughs> mm. <sighs> okay, I think it's over. Unstable ruins. Our archaeologists working on mm. Amagora 4 have reached a highly unstable section of the ruins. Supporters... Oh, sorry. Really sorry. Uh, hang on. Um, I'm actually going to be right back. I need to make sure nothing's burning down. Cause
Okay. Ooh. Let's just say my brother decided to pick an awkward time to learn how to cook. <coughs> uh, but the fans and the windows are open again. Okay. What are we doing? Supports will have to be carefully added to the floors and ceilings before we can proceed. It will be difficult work, but finding an alternate route would delay the project. Um, safety first. Stabilize those ruins. <clears throat> we are spreading our faith to a new world. All right, new plan acquired. Alright, as for our next tradition. So we had something for the foundation of the Holy Tribunal, which is literally our foundation trait. So we need something that reflects our angler trait, our exalted priesthood, our fanatic spiritualist, and our egalitarian. <clears throat> Okay, so we need something for our secret people. There's our faith ones as well. Uh, happiness increased by 5%, unity increased by 10%, stability, unity from priests, priest consumer goods, armor morale, treasures and costs. Um, maybe we instead should, uh, Go for egalitarianism this time. Something that reflects that. <clears throat> hey, Sour! Oxygen that lets you uh, see two systems ahead. Oh, I know. That would follow along our exalted priesthood. Yeah, Sour, um, I was online. I was, uh, I don't remember if you remember me saying this, but I was saying I'd be on around the same time that I stream. <clears throat> So, uh, did you still want to play something, or are you good on your own? It's not like I'm not going to be on later, and I could also just make this a short game of Stellaris for three hours, and then switch over to the next game, whatever we want to do. Ah, into Dead by Daylight. And here we go. This is faith number two. Our faith is what brings us further ahead. The truth is out there, and we must strive to follow the right path. We don't get an adoption bonus, but we do get an end bonus with a plus one to influence. Most importantly, however, strength in mind. Plus two to both of our sensor ranges. And in the beginning, this is really important. <clears throat> the smoke is starting to clear up, at least. Uh, no, I shouldn't say smoke. There actually wasn't any smoke that I saw. So he was good about that. He was on to that. I think it's just like the smell was delayed from like just kind of creeping underneath my door. And now it's just all building up and a guy only got the fan going to disperse everything. Challenge for me. What do you got, Sour? I bet I can beat it. Construction complete. Alright, now you can go ahead. Comet sighted. A light was seen moving in the night sky of Bilia, its gentle arc standing in stark contrast to the slow revolution of the stars. The citizens of Bilia see it as proof of recognition by the powers that be and a suitable blessing of our cause. Her Osgar takes a dump and his dump burns up in the atmosphere. That's exactly what this is, but hail to the mighty space dragon god. Happiness increased by 5%. <laughs> That may not be it. It may just be a comet, but we're going to say it is the dump of Ferozgar burning up in the atmosphere. Ah, challenge me to dead by System daylight, are you? Complete. God, I wish you would like ask that challenge to, like just Anomaly a couple days found. ago when the sale was going on and it was six dollars and not twenty. But um yeah, let me let me invest the first three hours into this because I am planning to do Stellaris as the new weekend stream. 
Uh, strange readings. This plan emits strange magnetic waves. Quite unlock anything we've seen so far. Almost as if it is trying to communicate with us. It is only logical to investigate this unusual phenomenon. We may have just in encountered an extraordinary example of life on a planetary scale. Alright, well you go ahead and leave that be. Save that for the other scientists. <clears throat> but yeah, Sour, if you're on for three hours, I'll go ahead and System get the game and then complete. download it and then go ahead and play. And I'll just go to show you it's not that hardcore. I'm just better. I've never played it, but I just know. I'm going to be the killer. I'm going to find you and defeat you. While scanning the star, read them on your science ships on board computers quickly detected repeating patterns in the radio frequency signals it emits. An engineer recognized some of these patterns from a piece of music it once observed. This engineer proceeded to convert the patterns using a particular clear instrument and managed to produce quite a unique sound. A full recording of these patterns had produced quite a beautiful sounding piece of music. With the right equipment, you can practically hear the star sing. It sings from the soul. 160 points of experience, 750 unity, and 454 in physics. Plasmoid life. Somehow life composed entirely of plasma has managed to evolve on this star. Unfortunately, the ship cannot venture closer for a better scan as the sun's thermal radiation is proving too much for our ships on board sensors. We need more. Situation log updated. <laughs> All right, we need 13 more influence for there. Oh yeah, Dead by Daylight is definitely a good party game. And look at that, we have an abandoned gateway. An ancient space station of some kind has been located at the edge of the Dwithin system. The strong residual subspace signature that surrounds the station indicates that it may be a gateway of sorts. Part of a theoretical network of similar stations that at some point would have allowed for near instantaneous travel between different parts of the galaxy. Assuming this is a gateway, its current state of disrepair has rendered it unusable. If it could be restored into working order, its owner would potentially be able to access any other functional gateways in the galaxy, enabling travel across huge distances in a matter of time. Alright, so we're going to want a uh, defense station right over here to guard the gateway. Yeah, no, it was a little early to call it, but that's not an L gate, that's just a simple gateway. Complete. And now, strength and mind, control of mind, strength and mind. Increase our sensor ranges by two. Spaceborn creature encountered. And already it's proven its worth. News of an alien ship. What are you? Okay, mining droids, so no problem. Ooh, but already at 1.8. Intriguing encounter at the endings in Skindy. Go ahead and put one of our envoys right over there. And it's now time to arm the fleet with some mind killers. Alright, so go ahead and get all those on. Get rid of that. Increase this, build that. Alright, Sovereign of the Stars. Let's go ahead and get you up. Let's see, we need enough to beat 1.8. Let's, Let's just go for an even 2 for right now. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more alloys, though. But we'll go for the ones that we can't get right now. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Go ahead and build that. Research a crane. Coil guns. Unfortunately, not what we need against mining droids. Pause and let's see. We want propulsions. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those. Starbase defenses. Um, station. We don't really have the necessary power to run a station. So, you know what? Um, we'll go for standardized Corvette patterns. Standardizing new standards for the modeling and construction of Corvettes greatly improves the efficiency of the production pipeline. Go ahead and get that going. Is the planet ready? No. And no. Okay, so we can't build anything just yet. We are receiving a weak signal from the surface of the moon. The source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Go ahead. And... And buy some more minerals and go ahead and get another con housing district up and running. 
So you know what? I think it would be best if we have five of each of the districts just as like a base economy kind of thing. And we'll get supplemented from space and any other production buildings that we build along the way. Ancient survey marker. A small short range transmitter has been located on the surface of Dwithin 1A. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious minerals. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived as the deposit is still here. Fascinating. Alright, go ahead and get that. News from the archaeology. Ah, oh, it's the hieroglyph one. Tiny giant. Perubilus has discovered an unusual small gas giant. It appears the violent solar winds from the main star in Ayatone are the cause of this strange tiny giant. These powerful solar winds have, over the course of millions of years, stripped most of the outer and middle layers of the gas giant's gaseous atmosphere. Two, 220 experience for physics and 90 minerals and 30 unity. With five minor artifacts. So yeah, I think we'll go for two industrial districts. Or actually, we'll build this and then we'll get an System alloy foundry right away. Complete. Construction complete. Alright, that one's built. You can go ahead and move over here, wait for the influence to build up again. And are it's you? Yes. Build that. Build that. Uh, Space Autonomata. We have discovered a new life form in Skindi. Although uh, calling it a life form may be incorrect, the entities appear to be fully automated mechanical drones built exclusively for some unknown industrial purpose. Observations will continue, but since it's likely that these machines are programmed with defensive protocols, it would be prudent to tread lightly. Okay, also just pointing out, I understand that I did read these in the last time that we played this, but I figure every time we do play this, we only see these messages appear once. So might as well give them the benefit of the read. Uh, keep looking, but use costumes. But if we come across it again, we'll just skip past it. Because we don't need to worry about it. Oh yeah, I gotta upgrade three of those guys. I got coffee again. Anomaly found. <clears throat> Atmospheric readings from Higasic Ada 1 do not match simulated projections. <clears throat> I think it's like a final little cloudburst that just went by me. <clears throat> Swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Higasic Ada 1's face. They are cast not by clouds but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Esmonos is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what pos possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Plus four to society over there. How much longer or soon? Bilia, you don't have anything going on right now. Let's go ahead and buy some more minerals and get an industrial system going. System survey complete. Alright, good. Another wrecked titan. Man, we're finding wrecked titans all over here. The faithful have claimed a new world. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and get some housing district going and another alloy foundry. Build an outpost there. Okay, Path of Enlightenment or Absolutionum. There's edicts. Uh, monthly influence for defensive wars. Uh, da, 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 da. Or Absolution. What's the bonus things? Edicts fifth fun plus fifth. Oh, uh, no, let's go for this because minerals is more worthwhile for us right now. Path of Enlightenment. To know our own nature, the true nature of the universe, and the purpose and meaning of life is a journey better known as the Path of Enlightenment. Go ahead for that. Should dismantle one? Probably. Scientists gain a trait. Uh, military theory. Okay. Our ships have been improved. 
I know, but if we dismantle them, we lose out a pretty nice chunk of uh, energy uh, engineering. Construction complete. System survey complete. All right, head over there. Society research. What was it? Unity. Okay. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. All right. So we have gas pods, exotic gases from refinery jobs, plus 0.50. Naval capacity. Naval capacity from soldiers. Edix funds or eco simulator. We don't have a main specialty focus. And just to make sure these are down, because we're not going to get any other boost for it, we're just going to go ahead for Doctrine Fleet Support. As extra solar expeditions become more common, it is important to provide planet-side relief for returning fleets. So we'll go ahead for that. Increase our capacity for our Navy just by 30 points. Anomaly found. Uh, the debris filled with 39-109-D is part of rolls and swirls under the influence of unknown forces. Build a foundry. It's already in the works. <clears throat> Housing district and a foundry right away. Strange temple. The indescribable beauty of the mysterious ruined, ruined rock-hewn temple would be breathtaking to any who were to spend time looking at it. If it was not for its dangerous allure, stories are scribbled on the walls, warning of previous explorers who spent days in the darkness and thus wandered through the temple. In the end, they were no longer able to resist the powerful visions and auditory hallucinations, nor the madness inspired impulse to enter the temple's inner sanctum. One of our spent scientists spent a brief sent a brief report before the ship lost contact with them. The inner sanctum appears impossibly illuminated by what seems to be a flickering flame altar. This world looks interesting. Situation yes. log updated. Up is down. As the ISS Rosger site passed through the asteroid belt on its way to 39-109-D, science offer Esmo Helis reported that the ship experienced a number of sudden gravitational shifts. Ever curious, Esmo dispatched a number of probes to scan the debris field to discern the cause. It turns out that the culprit is a number of gravity generators of old alien make. Sputtering on dying energy sources and with their polarities inverted, they occasionally spew reverse gravity into the void. Though not with enough force to cause any serious harm, not anymore. Science officer Esmond theorizes that the generators once provide artificial gravity for a large asteroid in the belt, but some malfunction eventually tore the rock apart. 979 in physics, 1051 in engineering. Disturbing thought. Oh shit, I built a generator district instead of a city district. Waste of resources, but it's fine. I was planning to build one complete. eventually. Uh, no, you need to go up here. Traditions, uh, contribution. Contribution to the truth brings people together. 10% increase to minerals from jobs. Uh, consumer goods is starting to falter a little. Ancient mining droids. Oh. And Hrazgar speaks. Reports of the deep space drones previously encountered have been investigated closer. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. The drones possess powerful mining lasers and make obviously threatening, if not outright hostile, overtures toward Palantian's vessels when approached. They may be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Union. Understood. An alien empire now speaks to us in the language of the divine. And of course, a hungry dragon. Our researchers observing the sky dragon, Razgar, have reported loud creaking noises seemingly coming from its internal organs. It has also been circling around Bilia unusually often over the last few months, sometimes swooping right past the upper reaches of the atmosphere before pulling away again. Our working hypothesis is that the creature is hungry and wishes to land and feed, as it has periodically done in the past. It is not clear why it hesitates, perhaps it wishes to see how we react now that we have joined it among the stars. Set aside a space forward in a secluded area. Let us feed Hrazgar. Um, we're going to need food, though. Uh, you know what? You guys go ahead and get one. Play. Gotta remember to keep on pressing play. The dragon has landed. 
The dragon appeared to realize our intention and gracefully swooped down to rest in the area we had vacated. The large supply of food we left behind probably helped. It must be said, the dragon has laid into it with astounding ferocity. Our researchers are observing it from a distance. Watch and wait. Plus 10 stability, plus 7 unity, minus 15 food. And it takes 15 to 16 years for it to finish. Alright, good news is that there's no connection point over here. So we have kind of this System little bottleneck complete. right away at Kudoks and Eshwing. So we need to get some fortresses right here right away and be prepared. Alright, hieroglyphs. Some weeks have passed since this... Creature encountered. Okay, hold on. There's a lot going on. Another wrecked battleship. Like, the alloys are interesting, but if we just wait, we'll get the alloys we need. And I'd rather give us that engineering boost. So that could be useful. 500 engineering. Encountered in Tunabo, we have made first contact with the mysterious aliens in Tunabo, naming them the Pi Aliens. Interesting. Where is that? Okay, that's over there. Uh, discouraged by the time already wasted on the plant, the team is at a loss and declared the mission a failure. System they pack up the activation. Complete. Pause, pause. Don't let anything happen right now. And began to board the ship ready to leave. Mikhaim gave the order to leave the planet and the ship began to ascend into orbit. But as they were ascending, the science teams noticed the very cliff their vessel had been landed on for weeks was glowing very faintly orange whilst the others were not. Curious. Alright. What do we have over here? We have... Oh, thank goodness. A Tenyaki. So we still haven't met anyone, which is good. And you're not ready... I, did I put both my construction ships over there? You need to go over here and get these built. And the armada is still not built Anomaly up. Found. Our scanners are detecting unusual emissions coming from the surface of this asteroid. We should investigate. Yes, indeed. Proto-molecule infected station. At first, this asteroid se station seemed abandoned, damaged. But as soon as we started listening to various electromagnetic channels, we could hear strange voices. Ever so slightly picking up in speed, on closer inspection, the interior of the station is filled with strange crystals and a bizarrely moving biometal core, most lifelike. The entire place sounds terrifying. Worrying. Plus 15 to society. Holy crap. Go ahead and do another reinforce. Anomaly found. Uh, Norn Zelkar. Ooh, the expanse. Hmm. I don't remember. Uh, sensors report a number of possible points of interest within the defense debris surrounding QH-411. Okay, go ahead and research that. Construction. Yeah, I need to wait for that. Ah, okay, so that's what it's referencing. Eat or be eaten. Floating on the outskirts of the debris field of QH-411 is the pitiful form of a crumpled up science vessel of unidentifiable origin. The presence of bite marks and digestive fluids on the hull suggest it was chewed up, then regurgitated by some large predator. Well, we know they exist because we have Rosgar. Ironically, the ship's crew were on a culinary odyssey of their own in search of new exotic delicacies when they themselves ended up on the menu. They had rated a staggering number of life forms on everything from nutritional content to chewiness. Among their top picks were the Anarii for their juicy stomach and spicy temperament. We have earned a mediocre placement at the bottom of the list thanks to the stringiness of our flesh and the lackluster quarry we make. Some like to play with their food. Looks like they finally met their match and we got 553 in society points. Communication established with uh, the Anari Circle. You have hacked in... Wait, how? You have hacked into us and now you call us friend. Bah, the Inari Circle will remain vigilant towards your kind. Praise the Divine for this meeting. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms what we had long suspected. We are not alone in this galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular Xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we are achieved spaceflight at roughly the same time. Incoming transmission. Well, they're um way over here. 
We aim to establish an embassy on Bilia for the future betterment of the Inari. Use up diplomacy. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. That's perfect for us. Let's go ahead and talk to them. Come on. And go ahead and improve relations with you. At least the first person we met is not right next to us and is not a homicidal, genocidal maniac. First contact. Weird heat blobs. Long-range scanners have picked up reading... Faction found it. In the Chernobyl system, that could be described as heat giant heat blobs. It is worth investigating to make it so. Faction found it. We have the Freedom Network. Disgruntled uh, member work for equality and justice for all denizens of our empire. And we have the Council of Traditional Values, led by the Speaker of the Dragon. Support spiritualist and conservative values. Okay, so what does that leave us to? They want us to pursue a psionic pursuit, and the Freedom Network likes it completely as well. Alright, but we're going to go ahead and promote the Council of Traditional Values. And leave it at that. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead and build an outpost right there. Agamanthara, we're below five. Let's go ahead and build a city. Governor gained trade. Governor Hanatart has gained the intellect skill. Nice. Promote them as well. Well, they kind of align with what we have exactly. And it's just more unity, so why not? I figure another thing as well is that if we have two factions who are really strong System in favor of what we complete. got going... If any new factions appear because of refugees we bring in, they'll be strong enough to resist them. Complete. Promoting people we don't like? What do you mean? We like these guys. Don't forget, we're fanatic spiritualists. Although we are egalitarians, we want to be spiritualists whole and whole. No, no, no. We have to have this. We are spiritualists first and foremost because only Harazgar knows the way. Alright. System survey complete. You can go ahead and move down here. Are you guys just going to go this way? Life signs. We are picking up life signs coming from somewhere within the interior of this asteroid. This definitely warrants a closer investigation. I mean, unless another religious faction appears besides the traditionalist faction, we're going to keep with them. Crystal Groves, the life forms living on P1-09-L were nothing like what we expected. Our scientists report back that the asteroid has crystal growths. These growths have turned out to be self-sustaining and caused by the crystals taken in the ambient radiation of Iswig and combine it with the mineral composition of the asteroid. The crystals themselves are primarily made out of sucrose and could potentially even be edible. Curious edible, you say? Um, it seems like such a dumb waste, really, to make this into food. I'd rather have the society points, so we'll go for that. And absolution. Live by absolution and take comfort in the truth. Whoa. Okay, hold on. I'll be right with you. Uh, edict cost and edict upkeep minus 15%. Asteroid sighted. Our deep space tracking arrays on Riser Prime have made an alarming discovery. A large asteroid is heading towards the planet on a direct collision course. Should the impact the surface, the consequences would be disastrous. The asteroid must be destroyed before it is too late. Situation log updated. An ill omen indeed, if not for the army of Svrazgar. The dragons will be done. The rock will be destroyed. Oh wow, that's actually really close. You guys go faster. Uh, who do we assign to this holy charge? Eager, Gale Speed, Evasion, Sublight Speed up by 20%. That's nice. I've actually never really seen Gale Speed up here. I like that. Go for that. With post haste. Exactly. Look how close it is. We need them to get there as fast as we can. Alright, you go. What's our strength at? 1341. Heretic fleet engaged. Alright, they're engaging them right there. However, research proposals, none. Deep space defenses, geothermal fracking, nanomachines, or improved corvette halls. 
Uh, I kind of like this. Advance in building techniques. Oh, well, there is research, though. And we did research a military one last time, so I hate that. So, yeah, you know what? We'll go for uh, nanomachines. Advanced instrumentation allows for the study and particular application of physical systems at a nanometric scales. All right. Now let's go ahead and see over here. Uh, reduce the speed. Unfortunately, we only have lasers. Found. Giant creature corpse found. We have found what appears to be the ancient corpse of a gigantic creature in near perfect condition thanks to the vacuum. The science crew insist on making an autopsy to investigate the creature. Go ahead. Okay, with over so many people right here and the own space station soon to fire missiles, this should be fine. All right, go ahead and go back to normal speed. Hollow asteroid. Our science ship has found a strange asteroid during its survey of the system. Escort the asteroid, now named UL1M-XR-1, is hollow. Not only that, it looks like it has a small hole on it, as if something got in and hollowed it out, or something got out and used to be inside. A bad omen indeed. We have to go for this one because it has the exalted priesthood and our fanatic spiritualist. Uh, plus 100 experience, plus 2 to unity, plus 200 unity, and 614 in engineering. Yeah, let's the go ahead and go to double speed. First contact, the Tsunyakis, Skin of Jewels. Okay, everything's just happening so fast right now again. Found something very fascinating on the surface of the creature's body. It appears that the skin is entirely composed of some sort of crystalline structure resembling what would commonly be found in jewelry. It is able to resist decomposition and fuse with the rest of the body, yet it is hard to determine if these jewels are natural or if they are the result of collision with space debris. In the end, the findings were inconclusive and actual applications near impossible, and our science team opted to sell them to a collector for research funding instead. 343 in minerals and 50 experience. Okay, hang on. Let's go through all these. Tsunyakis. The Diviners named the beings floating through the dark Tsunyaki. They are a sacred and peaceful spaceborne life form that roams from system to system, feeding on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. And rarely showing any signs of hostility, we are to keep a respectful distance, as Rosgar decrees. We gain venerable and frequency uh, tuning research 46 influence an alien empire now speaks to us right, in the archaeology land of site. the divine hieroglyphics 3 Milikim halted the ascent and began once again to descend and the mitts became a stronger shade of orange the closer the vessel got to it puzzled by this development they decided to do a lap of the planet flying over every glyph at low altitude watching them light up as they passed Eventually, all the glyphs were lit and remained lit, but the crew was still none the wiser as to what this meant and decided to land once again back at the excavation site, where on the surface, it was hard to tell that it was glowing orange at all. Curious? Research. Okay, improved deflectors are ready. Okay, we don't have anything we specialize in. Uh, let's go for fusion power, because this was something that hampered us last playthrough really badly. We couldn't power any of our ships or any of our defenses. Nuclear fusion processes generate a great amount of power for our ships, but without many of the risks associated with the fission powers. Risks. Whatever it said, I didn't miss. System survey complete. Six, six, five. Let's let our populations build up a little more as well. It's getting closer. But nah, they got it. And boom. Asteroid destroyed. The asteroid that was approaching Rizor Prime on a collision course has been destroyed. With their doom averted, jubilant citizens on the planet have taken to the streets in celebration. A scan of the remaining fragments has also revealed that the asteroid consisted largely of valuable minerals. We have collected what we could. Excellent. 1,030 in minerals. And I gotta say, this is actually kind of terrifying. Because it's a legitimate thing that can happen to us and we would be nothing we could do. They say they can do it, but until the until it comes time to put your money where your mouth is, there's always just that giant risk that literally the very next hour or so an asteroid can come in and kill us all. So with that, with that being the case, Hakuna Matata people, don't have any worries. You can literally die because of some flying space rock that kills everyone on the planet. So take... Take comfort in the fact that you won't be alone when it does happen.
All right. Um, we're not completely powered up to fight these guys, but I think with just pure laser weapons, we can take on this 18k, uh, 1.8k fleet, not 18k. God help us if it was an 18k. All right. Anomaly found. Uh, signs of precursor activity. There are signs of precursor activity. Civilizations on this inhospitable rock. Uh, you're already at max level, so you're not going to get any better at this. So yeah, just go ahead and research. Do we have the influence? Yes, we do. I'm really hoping once we destroy this mining drones right here, these guys will come back and survey this area. Five, six, five. Yeah, we're fine there. Uh, you know what? Let's see if there's any bonuses that we can get. Complete. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a Starbase Administrator Office for that increase to Unity. Our ships are doing battle. Slow down time. Go ahead and take a look. Now we're looking. Okay. 74%. I think we got this. Uh, Leak Prison Complex. The ruins of a large prison complex have been discovered on Tsar 1. This hostile world seems to have served as some kind of maximum security penal colony in the first leak. As a federal facility, the prison housed convicts, felons from all across the leak space. Surviving records indicate most of the prisoners were guilty of piracy, terrorism, and other crimes of extraordinary nature. Fossilized remains from some prisoners can still be found where the cells used to be. Wow, that sucks. Situation log updated. Alright, research for the penal colony, and... They only have armor and hull points. And we still have ships flying in to reinforce, so I think we got this. Yeah, now we've fully matched them at 1.8 each. Turn this to normal. Alright, the Empire doesn't stop though, so we have to keep working. Get that, and then we have all these. Uh, I am going to need one of you guys back over here either way. Oh, yeah, see, you guys are doubling up. So you, come back this way. Start surveying this way. We have a ruined ring station and a ruined mega art installation over here as well. Okay, so if we can claim these, we get two mega structures. Let's go ahead and increase that. All right, uh, last one of faith. Can we make more foundries? Um, let's wait until they're below five. Like just having five open jobs is pretty okay. So this way, in case we get any emergency refugees, they can fill in those five while not overtaking us or overburdening us. Advent awakening. Beyond borders, our awakening is but the beginning. Edict funds increased by 50. And we also gain another point of influence. All right, so let's see. With our faith. If we do the consecrated worlds, there's still the issue that it costs us 500 unity each time we want to do it. We do get bonuses, mind you. And we could technically consecrate all of the ones in our territory. My exalted priest comrade says go for the silver tongue. Just got there we go. We do get envoys, which means we would ha have someone free to set up a spy network as well. Can't be too trusting. Our envoys weed worth of silver into ears of foreign dignitaries, altering their perception of reality itself. Uh, da, 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 da. There is also interstellar dominion. The star beckons and we follow. May nothing stand between us and them. Starbase influence costs minus 20, which could help us expand a lot faster. But if we do stack up the envoys early, 
we could have a lot of benefits pre-diplomacy before we actually make full-on contact or war happens. They would follow along the egalitarian and the faithful prolisticism style. You know what? Yeah, I think we'll go for it. The council has spoken. The silver tongue are initiated. Construction complete. All right. Spy network as well. Spy network established. Scientists gain trait. I don't think there's any difference between who we use, so it's just fine. survey complete. Construction complete. How's the battle going? Oh yeah, we're smoking them. All right. Keep on going. Oh, we don't have the influence. All right, they're all done. You guys, come on back. Keep building. You're heading back, but I want you instead to research that first and then double back for a survey. Uh, hieroglyphs. A small hidden treasure chamber was was recently uncovered by Mikum at the archaeological dig of Amagathorn IV. Although most of the found trinkets are of little practical use, they have substantial energy credit value. 1,200 energy credits. And Discovery First League Outpost. The science expedition led by Hanapalas leading the Periplus. Upon landing, we have discovered that this world is untouched, save for a lone structure lying in the heart of a forest. The building is still powered and contains only a few rooms. Strange markings not too dissimilar from the rooms skitter across the display services. It is possible that this could be the remnants of an archaic language or the ramblings of a long-dead madman. Linguistics experts assert that continued research of this runic language could lead to significant advances in understanding of alien social structures, contracts, and idioms, even if those aliens vanished eons ago. 300 experience points, 500 unity, 12 minor artifacts. We also gain the Enigmatic Ship Sensor Technology to increase our fleet command line by 10 and also zero G lab laboratories technology. That was a lot. That was a really good find, actually. All right, another outpost. Okay, we have four right here. Let's get ourselves an industrial district. Yeah, that is pretty hilarious that it took us 40 years to find someone last time. Complete. Okay, we also have our first Alpha Ascension. So, for that one... I'm going to go ahead for tech cost... Well, actually... Empire side... Uh, let's actually go for the Alpha Ascension perk for that. And, of course, before we uh, invest into the next tradition, let's do this and another terraform candidate. All right, so this is the one that we can just play around with and get, like, just one of the supporting ones. Leader level of cap increased by 2. Experience gain increased by 50. Uh, civic adaptions. It's a fun little thing that I haven't done. Uh, you know what? Actually, maybe we don't have to... It doesn't have to be a fun little add-on we can do. We can actually still pursue the path we want. So I'm going to go for Interstellar Dominion to decrease the Starblaze influence cost. Oh, wait. Okay, next tradition. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to invest early again. Where's where's defense? Was it the bulwark? Asteroid artillery? No, no, no. Where's that? Is it unyielding? Yeah, okay. We're going to get unyielding. The galaxy is vast and full of dangers. First effect to increase starbase capacity while also increasing upgrade speed by 50%. And efficient ability of unyielding traditions, we get the Magnot World. Ultimate strong stage 
I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's that coughing. Shook me up. Can't speak. Ultimate strong point defense theory technology. And defense platform caps increased by 50%. Starbase upkeep minus 20%. And gr grants us access to the Marshall Alliance Federation type. So we're going to go ahead for that. Uh, just go ahead and move. Alright, we can also get something else for you. Governing ethics, attraction, minus 25% crime. Repairs complete, nice. Uh, let's just go for the customs office, nothing wrong with that. Clouds of life. Large green clouds can be seen from far away when looking at the gas giant Rigor B1. Its vibrant green is in stark contrast with the white yellowish cloud layers and the dark bands of denser gas. Our science ship currently surveying the system of Rigor has discovered these green clouds are actually a life form. Tiny plankton-like life forms float across the upper layers of the gas giant, absorbing both the gases and sunlight in order to grow, multiply, and survive. Amazing. An excellent source of nutri nutrient source. Why are we suddenly so interested in eating everything we come across? Um, yeah, no, I like the society points more. So 100 points in experience, plus 2 to society, and 753 in engineering. Oh, there's another planet. Oh, wow. Not bad. Precursor outpost ruins. Asteroid impacts. That's not bad at all. Complex organisms. Oh, wow, that's a really good world. Okay, also... Hieroglyphics, Mucleum reports that a strange sickness has been spread among the archaeologists on Magmora 4. The first confirmed cases appeared shortly after a sealed chamber was opened for the first time. With a large part of the team incapacitated, progress has been delayed. Unfortunate indeed. Construction complete. Okay, we're at four right here, so we can go for another thing. Uh, what's low? Food is low. So you know what? Another one of these and another city district to boot. Uh, actually, no. No to the city district. Let's go for the Otacon mon Monument. Because this will get us more unity and an increase to unity from all of our jobs as well. Alright, you're finished there. So go ahead and down here. Engineering researched for nanomachines last time. I keep on pressing that one. Okay. Um, again, not interested in defense stations just yet. But we do have a propulsion for afterburners. These powerful thrusters provide additional combat speed but consume a great deal of power. That's okay. We have a fusion reactor on the way. System survey complete. Alright, Milkman reports that a strange... Wait, he already... Oh, again? That sucks. Just every cave they open is like, oh, new disease. Fucking like, <laughs> it's, it's almost like code right now. Every time I look, there's a new variant coming out. It's like, wait, what? Really? Shit, again. Like, I know it's a serious issue. And believe me, I do mean serious. I did lose people to it. But it's just like, every time I look, it's like BA17. Anomaly found. Omicron, and it's just, I, I can't keep up anymore. Sensors pick up unexpected activity from an isolated point of Tunabo 6's, 6A's frozen surface. Construction complete. Alright, just go ahead and move over there. 6, 6, that's fine. The Exile. Oh, this is actually pretty useful. The readings originate from a small research outpost which the Union has no records of establishing or indeed authorizing. On the surface of Tanumba 6A, it is staffed by one platine science, a fairly talented and industrious one if their research on Tanumba 6A is anything to go by. There is a problem with regards to their identity, however, we have been unable to match them against official state records and they refuse to identify themselves save for stating that they are an exile. They have expressed an interest in returning to Milia and serving the, the Union on the condition that the SS Pilius immediately depart to Numbo 6A and no platine ships ever return there. The Speaker of the Dragon welcomes the exile back into the fold.
The Council speaks. Hrothgar's defense is too little for his greatness. Unfortunately, our scientists gained a paranoid trait. Okay, it'll only affect the anomaly research speed. That's not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and call in some reinforcing fleets. Debris analyzed. Debris analyzed. We did make it in time. Good. All right, so once you're finished with that, you'll go back to automatically surveying and hopefully just stay on this side. Oh, tradition. We have defense zeal and resistance is frugal. I know what we're going. We're going for defensive zeal. When it comes to defense of our territories and existence, our fervor will surely be felt by our enemies. Starbase and defense platforms have their hull and damage increased by 33%. Yes, we want that. Oh yeah, uh, let's go ahead and check out the exile. We have biology. We could, but... Well, wait, what do we have... Yeah, no, he would actually be better suited for society so that we can get the biological factor. Let's put him right there. Okay, we should have enough. Yes, we do. Go ahead and build that. But we do now so we'll have a scientist out and about, so let's just go ahead and get him a ship so that he can at least be useful while he's out here. You, Nobody you're still found. researching. A vessel of some kind has crashed into the surface of this asteroid. Wreckage from the craft can still be found within the impact crater. Go ahead, research. Construction complete. Move down there. Okay, you're done. Go about automatic. Crashed ore freighter. After identifying an anomaly in the gravity well of RLS 3452, the ISS Perlipolis has discovered the shattered wreckage of an ancient ore super freighter buried deep within the asteroid's crust. It must have carried a full load when it crashed, and the asteroid's mineral wealth has been revised accordingly. Three minerals right there. Uh, six, five, one more point, and then we'll build something else. Okay, uh, you know what? Seeing as how this is going to be our spaceport for the most while, let's go ahead and also build some shipyards just to increase the speed of recruitment. Two hundred alloys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, if we don't do it now, we're definitely going to do it later. And we, when we build these, we can also build the modules and the buildings to get more bonuses. So yeah, we're going to invest that. Um, it's below 10 on food and energy. Construction Ooh. complete. Okay, okay. We're still fine right now. We're making a bunch of resources in other areas that we can sell and just kind of manage the economy until we get things back in order. Gas or liquid. The atmosphere of Skendi 4 is so dense it mimics the flow of a liquid. While extremely improbable for a gas giant to have such dense gas, it is not impossible. It is believed a combination of high gravity and very fast planetary spin and extreme counter motion in the gas giant's atmosphere is the reason for this unusual phenomenon. Disconcerning or gases. Oh, this is the one time that I'm excited for gases. Because that is some exotic gases right there. It's a very special resource that we're going to need a lot of. Other than that, also, 100 points in experience and 772 in engineering. Alright. Head up here for these. Construction ship. We'd have our influence. Go ahead and build that. Construction complete. Alright, so we just got one more ship and the fleet of corvettes is going to be fully managed. And we haven't found anything else, so we don't really need to change the weapons just yet. Okay, science ship is ready. Construction complete. Go ahead and get him in there. Mm -mm -mm. Would it be better? I think it'd be better to send him out surveying. Because this is the whole reason that we have the Monarch of Creation. It's to do all the background work that we got going on here. Let's see. Five, seven. Well, no. I, 
I would be contradicting myself from earlier when Anomaly saying found. the quicker we research these things, the better and possible better gains we get. Uh, playful ruins. Impressive structures litter a small area on the surface of Bronum to practically begging for some archaeological work. Anomaly found. Unusual fluctuation in space-time have been detected in the vicinity of B9-83. Further analysis is advised. Construction complete. Yes, Regor is very nice. Complete. Regor is definitely a prime colony place. Abandoned amusement park. The structures of Brahmin 2 are not as old as we believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Esmonilis notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from and that, to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless, to us Platinians, it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves. 896 in society, 1712 in engineering. I should probably actually be saying them by the correct names because I know what's going to happen in the future down the line. I'm just going to say them like, like like that and not pronounce them correctly. Everyone's going to be looking at me like, what do you mean by 1712? The year? No, the number is 1712. You mean 1712? Yeah, that one. Temporal Prism. Our analysis of the temporal fluctuations in the Chernobyl system has revealed something remarkable. A massive prism floating in space rather than the light, the prism refracts time. Depending on the angle of incidence, the crew of the ISS Prilipus report experience time at different rates. Biometric scans indicate that some have aged rapidly, while others are days or even years younger than they should be. While our study of the prism has certainly deepened our understanding of the nature and properties of time, its origins and purpose remain a mystery. Fascinating and plus three to physics. <laughs> Idle construction ship, that is not good. Go ahead and get moving. Uh, five, seven, six. Yeah, we need to get our populations booming. System survey complete. Keep going. All right, bonuses. What can Anomaly I get? Anomaly found. Asteroid in orbit. Okay, we already read that one before. Also a tradition. Okay. Uh, fortress doctrine, starbase increased by two. Oh yeah, this is the one we want. Wait, does that give that bonus twice? It looks like it gives the bonus twice. Plus two to starbase capacity. Upgrade cost minus 50%. Hostile operation difficult sabotage starbase increased by four. Yeah, so fortress doctrine. And good news is that we can also move up our... Oh, no wait, actually, we still have this little bit to discover. So if this little corner right here is isolated, we have another uh, border point that we can put up here for our fortress settlements. Convenient mining. The asteroid around Chernobyl 5 has such a perfectly stable orbit that it's easy to understand why our scientists thought it was placed there artificially. Yet, there are no conclusive indications of any propulsion systems or any other artificial marring. The only natural conclusion is that, by some absurdly improbable chance, the asteroid got caught in Chernobyl 5's gravity field. We have also detected some rare crystals on the surface of the asteroid. How thoughtful. Okay, you're almost ready. There's life, but not as we know it. In the solar system of Tanubo, reports trace amounts of dung have been found in an underground cavern along with small streams of liquid water. It appears some form of life exists on this otherwise dead planet. What is living here has unspiritually thus far eluded us. 100 points of experience, plus 4 to society, and 856 in engineering. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Alright, afterburners have been researched. And we only have one thing in propulsion, and something we already have a little bit of knowledge into, ion thrusters. These electric thrusters use beams of ions to generate thrust without the need for a propellant. Yes, because we have a lot of bonuses to get that really quickly done. Construction complete. Alright. Move up again. Survey completed. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disapproved, and our scientific community has been made to build new models from scratch. 
Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Bilia. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come to our aid in the continued search of strange life forms. Excellent. 2,388 in society, 942 in energy credits. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Get Rigor? We are. We are. We're making our way there. No reason Situation to pay for the extra. Archaeology site finished. Nice. Shortly after landing back on the surface of Agmathora 4, the science team set about testing the atmosphere around the glyphs in a hope of revealing some kind of answer. When the sensors detected major seismic activity for a brief moment and all the glyphs stopped glowing at once, concerned for the well-being of the crew, they quickly boarded the Monarch of Creation and took to orbit. As soon as they left the atmosphere of Agmathora 4, the ship's sensors detected a tremendous increase in tectonic activity. Shortly after, the planet's surface began to burst open and a giant bolt of orange light emerged from the inside. It quickly began to travel away from the planet at a speed far beyond any we have ever been able to achieve. The light soon left visible range, but the crew were able to determine its intended destination. Due to the calculated trajectory and velocity of the bolt, we should investigate the system that it appears to be heading towards. Curious. Alright. So, I guess you can just go over here and do some of this back study. Or, actually, you know what? Go ahead and research and survey this place. Physics is ready. Fusion reactors were done. I did it again. Alright, so anything for manipulation? We have one. But there's something really tempting up there. don't really see... Actually, I may actually be building that. I'm kind of liking automatic exploration protocols. In advance AI will aid the science officer in their task to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no Blorg has gone before. The science ship will be able to explore the galaxy with help from an AI. I like the survey speed too much, really, to give up on it. Fusion reactors into the Corvettes. We have a thousand one alloys. System for the survey fleet, complete. What will it say? Astrocartographic chart has been discovered on this planet, and it seems to give the position of some kind of high-value object. We should analyze it and see what will be found at the location. All in research. Okay, it's actually not going to cost us that many alloys. Our ships have been improved. Plasma worlds. The unusual active corona from the star Harbus B helps create large vortices. Vortices? Whatever. Whenever the star of the Harbus solar system ejects material through its solar flares, large local disruptions in the magnetosphere are causing particulates of plasma to then return to the star in swirling patterns, creating massive, slow rotating plasma vortices. 100 points of experience, 2 engineering, 150 minerals, and 50 unity. Abandoned treasure. The chart gave us the location of an abandoned treasure, and while it has no potential for industrial or scientific applications, it still has some value in our modern market, especially for the collectors of jewels and artifacts. 472 minerals and 25 experience. Wait, nope, that's a four. Okay, um, go ahead for agriculture. And actually, you know what? Just go ahead for a generator district as well. Ooh, our first primitives. No drawn civilizations encountered. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Harbus 4 in the Harbus system. They currently seem to be experiencing the equivalent of a renaissance, having recently left the medieval age behind them. Scientific knowledge is spreading rapidly, and the armies of their petty kingdoms are equipped with crude gunpowder-based projectile weapons. We should consider building an observation post above the world to study them more closely. Alright, so what do we got? Ooh. Oh, I think these are elves. Yep, they're moon elves. I do have the elf species mod as well. Because, you know, space elves. Alright, seven. Construction complete. Yes, finally we can acquire Rhaegor. 
The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right, the doctrine has been researched. Now, biology. Ooh, uh, genome mapping for sure. Mapping the genome of an individual, though the sequencing of their DNA opens up for tailored medical treatments and therapies. Get me that population growth. All right, you're good to go over here. You know what? I'm also going to go ahead and get uh, two more construction ships going over here. I so we'll now we have found. two pushing points for our armies. Or, I should say, our construction groups. All right, science of activity, precursor activity. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Okay, Rizor. Rizor, do you have any benefits? Special project complete. Dead end. Having arrived in the system, what looks to be weeks after the orange bolt did, it is nowhere to be seen. Despite the years of time spent on this anomaly, there have been no real insight into what the glyphs were, were for, who made them, why they made them, or what the orange bolt was. However, after some investigation into random debris that scattered around the system for seemingly no apparent reason, it appears there once used to be some kind of medica structure here, probably destroyed over time by the black hole. Inside the debris, our scientists discovered a large and functional data cache containing advanced technologies and knowledge related to the stabilization of wormholes. However, the most significant find was the discovery of an extremely alien and otherworldly artifact. Some of the artifact is certainly going to be worth it. Astonishing! Plus one to the minor artifacts and study arcane artifact research option gained for abstract physics and unit gained at 2500. 633 physics, 597 society, and 910 in engineering. Situation log updated. League Naval Base. The wreckage of what must have been a major first League Naval Base has been detected in orbit above Haribus 1. We know the League maintained a massive fleet called the Grand Navy to combat piracy and safeguard member nations from external aggressors. This particular outpost appears to have provided berthing for one of their Rimward patrol fleets. Remarkable. Situation log updated. All right, uh, now we go ahead for resistance is frugal, frugal. Our people take great comfort in the strength of the bulwarks that guard our planets and view them as vital to ensuring a more prosperous future. Defensive armies now produce 0.5 unity. In addition, defensive army health is increased by 25%. All right, we got a bunch of idle people, so let me go. Oh, elections are going on as well. Go ahead and survey there. Okay, so currently we have Urzumika, who is the current speaker of the dragon. His agenda is the fleet expansion. Down here we have Eshmelis, which is secure the borders, which we don't really need to do. Hannah's heart, selective nostalgia, plus 10% to our unity. And Abibal who is secure the borders as well. Okay, so it's really between these three right here because Abibal is really old at 64. I call upon the exalted priesthood council. Who should the speaker of the dragon be? Because right now, fleet expansion isn't that big on my mind. And it's not like any of them are impressive. I'm kind of leaning towards Hanatart. Because we get the unity increase by 10%. They're roughly around the same age as well. The council says Hanatart. Oh shit, it's not like we can even do anything. We gotta wait a couple turns to get our unity. Let's go ahead and have that going. Okay, but we're definitely going to keep the screen up. Just got a System wait a couple complete. Turns. Strategic resource discovered. Dark matter. Nice. Wow, this is awkward. Made that whole big thing of like, who do we vote for? Oh shit, we can't even do it. Fuck! Construction <laughs> we can do it in the end. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. I was wasting time doing that. Alright. You guys go over here. 
Ah, yeah, so this is awkward. Uzru Miki. System survey okay, complete. Okay, Rigor is now official. Go ahead and get over there. Alright, now you guys come over here. The problem is we're probably not going to have enough influence to match up for two constructions. Six and five. Keep that up. System survey complete. Anomaly found. All right. Uh, monoliths. Okay, we already know that one. Crash starship. All right, what are you doing? Get to automatic survey. Uh, Faragon 3 is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall centipaths carved from some mineral not native to the planet. Cenotaphs, that's how it says. Evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race, the monolith's flowing lines deftly craft chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. Imagine them, image them for the archives, or they are beautiful. We're going to go ahead for they are beautiful because this gives some of our people the xenophile trait, which is what we kind of are if we're egalitarians. And we now also have a new faction found at the Xeno Compassion Observatory. It's pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. Okay. Uh, Edict Monolith. The anointed productions out of the monolith imagery found on Ferragon 3 prove immensely popular in the Union. Many citizens state that the fantastical annals have completely changed how they feel about aliens. Intriguing. Okay. So, what do you guys want? Indirect Zeology. Legislating a passive stance on native interference will please the Xeno Compassion Observatory. Federated Joint Federation will please the Xeno Compassion Observatory. Promote them and no one else. Uh, well, I mean, don't forget, we're fanatic spiritualists. If we were fanatic xenophobes, I would definitely say yes. We have to consider this from a religious standpoint. I don't mind promoting them. I truly don't. But I don't know if we should pull support from the other ones as well. But I also don't see any harm in not promoting them. Just to keep them on a good side. Desire for greater value to be put on alien life and culture that like diverse populations and interacting with other species. They just like species-wide slavery and purges. Who doesn't? Federated. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, no. I'm not saying that they can't be. But I'm just saying that we ourselves are fanatic spiritualists. Hmm. Well, I guess there is some point to what you're saying, because as many times as I'm saying we are fanatic spiritualists, we're also egalitarian. So we want the good for all of our people. And if we bring more and more people under Harazgar's gaze, it's just all the better. Anomaly found. Uh, although Kildatha 3 appears totally desolate and devoid of light, our scanners have picked up an encrypted signal emanating from it. Alright, let's see how much the elves feel like. Secret fealty, commercial pact. We can go ahead and go for that. Just improve relations bit by bit. They have agreed, alright. Magma Ocean, the planet Faragon 1 deep within the Faragon solar systems to have a gigantic ocean of magma 
An endless stretch of liquid molten rock and deep resonant scans indicate part of the core is fully exposed in this area, which explains how the magma can stay so hot and liquid. 100 points of experience, plus 5 minerals, and 911 in engineering. Love's labor is lost. Having decrypted the signal, Hanafils was astonished to discover it was broadcasting in an archaic form of one of the Platician, the main Platician language. Speaking in these thous and whenceforths, it appears to be reciting one of the lost works of Kizdabal, a renowned Platician playwright who lived some 600 years ago. It appears that the broadcasting device, a simple satellite dish protected by a small shelter, is the only non-natural structure on the planet. There is no hint as to who left it there or why, but going by the wear and tear on evidence, it must have been there since shortly after the play was first written, long before Platicians learned the secret of space travel. We can only assume it was left there by ancient visitors to Bilia, who took a liking to the play and decided to pay our species a strange and unexpected tribute. Further evidence of the superiority of the Platician race? Nah, we don't believe in that. Wonderful news, disseminate the recordings across the nation. Just to be sure though, let me take a look. 15% unity, 10% happiness for citizens for five years, or a giant sum chunk of 2,212. Would this finish you off? 4,400, 44. Oh, no, wait, shit, that's just where we're at. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to go for this because we can eventually increase our unity overall. Yeah, but it goes against but what we are. Disseminate the recordings across the nation. Alright, next tradition. Never surrender. We shall fight on so This is just repeating the famous speeches. Just an alien talk. Orbital bombardment damage minus 25%. War exhaustion gain minus 25%. Hostile claim influence plus 25%. Mm -hmm. Commercial pact. 8, 6. Yeah, we gotta wait for a little bit. Maybe I should reduce that because there's a lot of jobs that are not being Special fulfilled. Special project complete. So yeah, maybe we shouldn't just leave it at five. Maybe maybe two. Plasmoid life. We already know about Construction that. Construction complete. All right, so you're all finished. You can go ahead and move up. Anomaly found. Another astrographic chart. Anomaly found. Uh, precursor life. Go ahead and look into it. Uh, let's see. What can we get for a bonus? Vault of credits. Also, colony ship has finally built and off its way. A uh, very durable gate was found near the location, pinpointed by the astrographic chart. Locked by a primitive security code while breaking it, astrographic chart would uh, would have taken. Am I going crazy? No, that says token. That's an O. That's not an A. Would have token. Near to no effort, it was simple to deduce that the astrographic chart would lead us to the code anyways. With more potential research opportunities along the way, we managed to locate the code in what seems to be ruins of a primitive capital building. Extracting some valuable civilizationary data along the way and allowing us to access the vault without brute force, surprisingly enough, the vault contained a stash of galactic standard energy credits, which while a bit confusing, can easily be used as any other credit. Excellent work. Token is platypus for taken. Just, just invent a whole language for all platypuses right here. Whenever they make a token sound, you know that's when they're saying taken. Complete. All right, you go ahead and move on. System survey complete. 
Uh, battle wreckage. A great battle between the Grand Navy of the First League and another fleet took place not far from here some two million years ago. The gravity well of Fergon II has since captured much of the debris left by this engagement, and the wreckage of several massive hulks can be found on the planet's surface. Situation battle wreckage. Log updated. Gift System of primitives. Survey complete. All in time. We still got several other settlement uh, hyperlanes to go through before we can get to these primitives. O Star Stellar Behemoth. A marvelous find has been made by an exploration ship currently charting out the galaxy. The vessel is reporting that the Vulcan system's central star is none other than a gargantuan O class star. This extremely bright, rare, and blue purplish star is of truly gargantuan proportions and has long sterilized its surrounding planetary systems. Additionally, due to the star's immense activity, solar winds are incredibly prominent throughout the entire mass system, which is proving to be detrimental to all vessels crossing through this area. However, while these kind of stars are dangerous and short-lived, any megastructures built around them would undoubtedly have the potential to be extremely powerful, even more so than those built around typical B-class stars. We, however, have to be mindful that only a handful of such stars exist in our galaxy, and they are thus extremely valuable. Singing Planet What we first assumed to be a deliberate attempt at communication has turned out to be an unusual but naturally occurring phenomenon. The magnetic waves produced by the planet given proper handling and editing may sound a bit like talking or even singing, but they are in no way created by a thinking being. Some of our scientists, however, find it quite catchy. It might be possible to make use of this phenomenon possibly by hosting artists, artists or VIPs at a station created solely to catch these signals and play them as relaxing music. Plus three to reunity. Going off for dinner. Construction Alrighty. Construction complete. Go ahead and move over there. Society System research is ready. Alright, so... Wow, almost another whole other thing of biology. Uh, let's go for pr quid pro quo. Co core world scientists have been sufficiently motivated with new research grants improving efficiency. I need to drink cola. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, head over here. System survey complete. You go there. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Iron thrusters are done, and no other propulsions. All time military chemist jobs. We don't really have chemists right now. Planetary build speed is not something I'm really concerned about. Um. And we don't have anything that can hold hangers, so you know what? we're going to go for ceramic metal materials. A combination of different metals and ceramics that result in a strong armor without sacrificing flexibility. Uh, subspace warning. Several automated warnings start blaring as soon as we entered the Katsaba system. It seems something is emitting very strong subspace signals. Scanners detect a large structure at the edge of the system, likely to be the source of these strange emissions. Alright, so what is this? Uh, you need to gain 1,130. There it is. An abandoned silo. I think this is like the 20,000 storage unit that is by itself, or maybe 50,000. It's like an astronomical amount, but it is uh, it is a definite worthwhile grab. Wow, we got three mega structures right over here. If we can grab this little pocket, that'd be a really big boost to us. All right, and final issue of unyielding bulwark of harmony. All organisms, no matter how perfect, must rely on an immune system to ward off the threat of outside disease. Our society is no different. While in a defensive war with another empire, ship build, build speed is increased by 33%. In addition, the ship fire rate is increased by 15% for ships within your borders. Yes, indeed. Alright. So, is there an unyielding thing unlocked? Because I know some of these things will actually unlock new ascensions if we just have the right technology. 
while it doesn't look like anything came with unyielding. We did, however, get Pillars of Society. And that's for our priests. It would be more research and would fall in line with our fanatic spiritualist ways. Our faith underpins every aspect of our society. There is not an institute which is not founded on the doctrines of our belief. Well, actually... Oh! Oh, this would, this would actually work really well for us to no longer be uh, spiritualists just because... Oh, no, wait, but we can't, be, we can't be fanatics. This would undermine fanatical religious, I would say, because just everyone accepts the belief. It is the norm that this is the way the universe is, which is under Hrosgar's eyes. We just wouldn't be as fanatical about it as we could. So, yeah, we'll go for that. Pillar of Society. Just give us all that boring research so complete. we don't actually have to build System these. System survey complete. Strange mountain formation. Efforts to map the surface of this moon have identified a strange mountain range in the southern hemisphere. It does not appear to have been formed naturally. Go ahead and research. Alright, move over there. Yeah, our influence is not enough. You guys go ahead and upgrade. Don't count your planets. Our scientists have discovered something rather monstrous. The mountain range they scouted earlier was in actuality the outer membrane of a gigantic egg. It's uncertain what behemoth could lay such an egg and what horror would hatch from it. Study it from afar for plus four society, or crack it open. Now, last time, we got some pretty damn good benefits for cracking it open. I'm going to see if we can hold it up again. Situation log updated. This is kind of why I don't like doing certain things, because once you realize what option A and what, what option B is in this game, it's like, oh no, I'll just always favor this one because it benefits me more. Incoming transmission. So sometimes if you are trying to go for like uh, just a controlled way of going, you just you will divert slowly because it's like, no, go for this because it will get me this faster, do this because it will get this done. Automated shipyard. While conducting their survey of Rhizor 1A, the Monarch of Creation detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to have been subjugated to a heavy missile barrage, but one of its manufacturing base is still in working condition. Science Officer Mikhailm is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant project. Did we just find another mega project? Situation log updated. Okay, thank god, because I'm about to say, that's going to be a little too overpowered for us. And... Mm -hmm. Offer migration treaty. Plantings people should not be prisoners in the Union, and neither should our own people be limited to inhabited our territory. Let us agree to remedy this. And there we go, we got an immigration thing going on. I feel bad because we set up a spy network in them. Oh look, they even have an exalted priesthood. Holy crap, we got a lot of things familiar with them. The only issue is that they're pacifists. So it's going to be hard to kind of drag them into wars. Our amenities are really low in a lot of worlds. Ruined Ring World. The shattered remnants of an ancient Ring World encircled the star of the Lackean system. Any planetary bodies that may once have existed here must have been used as building material during this megastructure's construction. No evidence hinting towards who originally built this marvel of engineering has been found, but it must have been the product of a very advanced culture. Alright, um, go over here and then begin excavating. Go ahead and build that. Uh, I'm going to save... Oh, no, wait, I should build this way because this will be a good cutoff point. Web work. Glowing webs of an unknown origin periodically illuminate the surface of Kasaba 3. Because when we get over here, we can build an outpost System and then just save complete. up because we can build up a star fortress right there. Murky vats. Initial imaging of the ruined Lachium ring world indicates a number of intact vats located on some of the dilapidated sections. Whatever these vats might hold is unknown. Uh, that's going to take too much time for you. You're not high level, so leave it be for right now. Life Electric. Science Officer Ismuilis reports that Katsaba 3 is covered from pole to pole in a web-like network of electrical filaments. 
These networks respond to external stimuli. The Horizon site experimented with sending a low voltage pulse to the surface, which resulted in a wave of illumination that rippled through the network like a circuit board. Even more remarkably, the web rearranged themselves. A second low voltage pulse revealed that the filaments had been organized into a new pattern centered around where the previous pulse had contacted the surface of Katsaba 3. As Molinius concludes that the discovery confirms her long-held theory that life can exist as the most purely electrical impulses independent of cellular or viral structure. Fascinating. Construction complete. Rhaegor is about to be colonized as well, so that's good. Go ahead and build all that. 16 influence. Construction complete. No, not that one. Construction complete. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna have to slow down a little. We wanna build up our influence again. Uh firstly, Terraform Talked and Candidate. Floating City. Several self sustaining cities float around this world. Despite some slight damage, they appear to function well. Scattered across the surface are the remains of other buildings and infrastructure. Where they were precursors to the floating cities above or former ones themselves, we may never know. Fascinating. 300 points of experience, 500 unity, 100 minor artifacts, and the technology of mass locking. We are spreading our faith to a Encounter in Protima's Black Hole. <laughs> Protima's Black Hole. Oh, it's uh, the Taw Aliens. Or, well, what? Are... Oh, they're over here. We just unlocked like a big chunk of map for some reason. Like a really big chunk of map. System survey complete. It's not just me. It's just like this is like super weird. I don't know how we got Anomaly this big found. chunk of the map revealed. Uh, lava Citadel. We have found an amazingly huge lava citadel on this molten world. Exploring it could make end up. It could maybe end up with interesting results. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Incoming transmission. Stay stray communicate. One of our politicians on Bilia has carelessly misplaced a bundle of sensitive materials, including an encryption key whose very existence outside of government facilities is a gross breach of protocol. Our domestic authorities are scrambling to switch security platforms as it's quite possible these materials have, may have fallen into hostile paws. Oops. Lost encryption key, encryption minus two. Fire this incompetent at once. Minus 250 energy, a politician in your capital is fired and demoted. Oops. That's what we're going to say. Oops. Oh, yeah. Uh, research agreement. Uh, Lee Cruiser. We can learn 764 and we can share 212. Not the best. But they are pretty weak in the fleet compared to us. Uh, League Cruiser, the bow section of an ancient First League Cruiser has been discovered orbiting Crisotto 5. There is insufficient debris nearby to account for the rest of the ship, but what little remains is in very poor condition. The hull has been riddled with holes from what appears to be a large mass driver projectiles. Situation Project of a derelict updated. cruiser. Giant Old Factory. A giant factory was found inside the Lava Citadel, and luckily it appears to still be functioning and ready to be activated. The facility is exceptionally well designed and could sustain the mass production of almost any sort of material or item and at stunning speeds. The research team decided that the best approach would be to study it from orbit with a research station to investigate how these engineers managed to build something this efficient. Excellent. Plus 9 to engineering and 125 in experience. Found. Interference, we already read that one. Yeah, just gonna head to leave the population to build up. Influence is still really low. Us new wisdom. Sonified science. The Southern Horde and crew has succeeded in isolating a single embedded within the usual, unusual patterns of interference in the Bayes system. The signal is a song, a complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation to be precise. 
and one that science officer Abibal. Yeah, Abibal. That kind of sounded weird. Cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have composed the song remains unknown, though its complexity infers an incredible level of technology sophistication regarding the subspace harmonics. The signals geodesic suggest a point of origin from outside of our galaxy. Curious. So 939 society, 669 in physics. And a b-ball has gained the uh, expertise materials trait. Research is done for survey speed. All right. There's field manipulation. Okay, just the one. Mass locking. FTL speed increased by 15%. Hyper jump charge time minus 15%. And cooldown minus 15%. Advanced FTL sensors allow for a much stronger mass lock on the target. Sun vastly increasing our ability to travel the FTL current. Alright, go ahead for that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you go ahead and build. Because this one we need... It looks like there's going to be wisdom. no real challenge for a while. So if we have our time to get over to here. Uh, Tall aliens, clear signal. We have managed to pick up a clear audio feed of conversations between several tall alien ships. While our linguists are still none the wiser as to the meanings of any of the words they are recording, they are optimistic that this new signal will help them make significant progress towards a breakthrough. Excellent. Alrighty, next tradition. Psionics. Oh, here's the faith one. Happiness, monthly unity, stability, unity from priests. Uh, da, da, da. Nah, not prolicism. Affinity, immigration pool, 100%. Resource storage capacity, attrition cost. Um... United passions, new friends are to be made. Wait, what the hell is that supposed to do? There's nothing there. There's nothing on this one either. What the hell is affinity supposed to be for? That's really bad. Okay, whatever. Um, there's mystery. We did have that one last time. Liberty, justice. Liberty would give us an influence point. It would increase our population growth from immigration. Specialist upkeep minus 10%. Happiness of all factions increased by 5% while no faction is being suppressed. Ship weapon damage and army damage increased. Leader cost minus 15%. Leader pool increased by 2. New colonies add 1 additional pop. We can go for liberty. It would follow our egalitarian ways, which we don't have any of. So far, it's just been 2 pre pre prepares and 1 actual faith one for the fanatic. So you know what? Yeah, we'll go for liberty to follow the egalitarian ways. Research, quid pro quo is done. All right. There is an alien zoo we can build. Or a uh, society. Um, we probably should get into research. So we'll go ahead for biodiversity studies. Studying the different forms of life that appear on our world helps us better understand ourselves and the life that surrounds us. System survey complete. Special project complete. Veteran army formation is done and big boost to our unity with that. Before we get to that though, let me go ahead and do all this. Alright. Now, monthly influence, yes, that's a definite. 
Oh. Never mind, I thought we had a big boost, but we only got one thing. Alright, Ta Aliens, we have picked up readings of unknown nature. The signals seem to follow some kind of repeating uh, syntax which could indicate sapient origin. It should be investigated further. They seem to be concentrated around a single space station. Though it's unclear whether this forms part of a larger space airing civilization. Proceed. System survey complete. And comrade is back. No. We haven't found any of those stations. I think we found an arson group over here. But other than that, not nah, just the elves still. Alright. Next thing into this. Uh, da, da, da. We'll go for freedom of speech. It is important that everyone has the right to voice their opinions and ideas without repercussions from the law. This is our citizen's right. Oh, also universal rights. We declare that universal rights are for all of us, all the time, whoever we are and wherever we are from. And we're at year 25. Well, at least we know we're not alone in the galaxy at large. Go ahead, the spirits down over have there. granted us new wisdom. Go ahead and build that. Taking flight. After several years of gorging itself on the bountiful harvest of Vilia, the now considerably girthier Sky Dragon has once again taken flight with a final roar and salute. It lifted off, leaving behind a large collection of scales, shed skin, and other byproducts of its presence. We would get 672 physics, 1,278 society, 1,494 engineering. Yep, Spaceborne creature that. encountered. And yes, indeed, Rygor Prime is still being colonized. All right. Research. We have ooh fusion missiles. These updated space-to-space -space missiles have more powerful fusion warheads and improved flight performance. However, there's another survey speed bonus up here for deep space sensors. Oh, you're right. Didn't notice that one. Uh, improved long-range sensors give survey ships the ability to detail and map a celestial object from light years away, improving the speed at which data is able to be gleaned about survey targets. I'm going to say yes, because that's a really important thing right now, because we're still not boxed in yet, so we still have room to expand. Oh, and also Waskar. Wait, we discovered Waskar... No, this must have been something that popped up from one of our events, and I wasn't paying attention. Waskar 3. Metallic rings... Most of these ring systems consist mainly out of silicate and dust. The darker rings, however, mainly consist of out of metallic rocks and other minerals. Low gravity. This plant has an unusually low density and therefore much lower gravity than most plants of comparable size. Atmospheric hallucinogen. What? Hold on, this plant was sounding pretty promising, but wait, what? Biological population 7.5, happiness, lithoid population 7.5, physics research from jobs 15%, worker pop resource output minus 7.5. The air of this plant contains a natural hallucinogen. While this does keep people happy and indeed seems to aid the visualization of some of the more esoteric physics problems, it also distracts people from the work. <laughs> <laughs> it was sounding so promising and then just suddenly like oh yeah it's like sure there's metallic rings gravity's a little low it's like okay okay i can live with that what else oh you know there's hallucinogenic gas that's just naturally there but other than that it's fine i'm sorry what oh that's why it's the anari all right let's go ahead and get a colony of them in here and for Savoto three Oh, wondrous planet. Very nice. Plus 5% happiness, plus 50% immigration pool. Yes, we do. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, immigration pool and a research agreement. That's what happened. The world is home to a unique planetary wonder. Something so out of this world, it borderlines on the impossible. Hostile fauna. Minus 7% habitability. Happiness, minus 3.7%. Oh, that's why. Okay, it's not that we couldn't colonize them before. It's just that we didn't have the Inari before. That's why these plants appear green now. Okay, that makes sense to me. 
Society research from jobs plus 15%. This world has evolved extremely hostile fauna and the surface is rife with lethal predators waiting to ambush their next meal. Their biology offers great research opportunities. However, and then asteroid belt. Minerals from jobs increased by 15%. Max mining districts increased by 1. Perhaps this plant once had a moon which was destroyed in some calamity. Or perhaps its orbit's debris never fully coalesced in the first place. Whatever the cause, this planet is surrounded by a belt of small asteroids. Oh, excuse me. Alright, we already did that. System survey complete. Uh, is there any other? No, there's no other planets. Construction complete. I think it's best to save it to two, yeah. Uh, housing is 14, 23, 9, 1. Okay, so we need more housing and amenities over complete. here. Construction complete. 9, negative 1. Oh, yeah, definitely for sure. Alright, move over here. I'm, I'm ahead of you, comrade. Don't worry. I have played this game before. Construction complete. Well, you called yourself on it, backseat gamer. System survey complete. Well, I shouldn't mess found. with you too much about it. You have reminded me of very vital things before as well, so it's good to have an extra pair of eyes. Mini natural wormhole. A very small natural wormhole has been found near the planet and appears to be on the verge of collapse. We can estimate that it's going to collapse in the next few months. We could use this opportunity to examine the other side and maybe find something of value. Go ahead. Ships, go ahead and get your upgrades as well. Society research. Uh, journeying sapphire. A beautiful glistening, glycerine sapphire has been found on the other side of the micro wormhole. The sapphire being close in size to an average Blorg, the crew determined that it could be collected, even though they still have no idea how or why that jewel ended up in there. After an analysis showed that it was unfit for industrial and military applications, we opted to sell it to a private collector instead. 539 minerals and 50 experience. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I am going to say... Uh, Genetic healthcare or regenerative cellular reconstruction. A lot of our people are getting old. But if that's the case, maybe not worrying about that and worrying more about our population growth is more important. However, I am a little I am a little afraid, I'm not gonna deny, it, because of some of the the mods that I installed for the mid-game thing, there are certain ones that now work against you if you have anything similarly close to cloning facilities. Ooh, which means it should be the exact reason we should do it. Let's see if we can trigger the cloning issue happening. Anyway, genetic healthcare. The colonization of alien worlds has opened up an entirely new field of biomedical research. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, go ahead and start building that. And now we can't build you, of course. The faithful have claimed a new world. Alright, Rigor Prime is ours. Let's go ahead and get a city and an alloy foundry is up and running right away. Improved. Ships are upgraded. Construction Colony ships complete. are on the move. Over here, you're building that. Uh, Taw aliens, after successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the independent space station of the Curator Order. Let's see if they want to talk. 67 influence game. An alien empire now speaks to us in the language of the divine. Okay, so this is something we weren't able to actually get last playthrough we were, which was one of the, uh, one of the little clusters they got going around here. Conclaves, that's what it was. I was trying to think of the name. Greetings, Star Travelers. We are the Curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. We failed. 
Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. Well met. All right, yeah, so definitely a high value target that we want to go Construction for. Construction complete. All right, that one's been built. And we have access to the abandoned silo. Okay, so it's 25,000 increase to our storage. Also 12 unity and minus 10 to our energy credits. We can go for that. So yeah, I mean, we definitely don't need it, but the more we have it up and running, if anything, it's the unity we want. <clears throat> and if I'm right, these guys are right over here in the black hole. So unfortunately, we may or may not get them. It's uh, it would be a race. Anomaly found. Uh, precursor activity detected. System survey complete. Uh, unidentified object. Small rectangular object on the surface of this moon is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. City of Ghosts. Our surface expedition has reported back some astounding findings. The planet has multiple major cities, all abandoned but in quite good shape considering their age. The infrastructure and urban plan of each city is remarkably structured and harmonious, indicating a highly cohesive civilization driven by centralized collective ideals. Perhaps even a gestalt consciousness of some kind. Based on the architecture and interior fixtures, the species that built all this seems to have been small fungoids. With a fairly low state of technological advancement, where exactly they all went remains unknown. Keep digging. Alien Mural. While conducting surface scans on Pergabid 2B, Science Officer Hennepilis and the crew of the Peripolis discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They were not detecting any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation log updated. And build that. Build yours. We are spreading our faith to a new world. All right, Waskar is beginning to be colonized. We can do this beforehand. We are spreading our faith to a new world. So we'll go ahead and remove those. Uh, leak science base. A surface scan of Boss 2A has identified the remnants of an ancient installation on the moon's surface. Most of the facility was wiped out in a massive explosion some two million years ago but a few outlying buildings more or less survived the blast. All evidence recovered so far points towards this having been some sort of research base built by the first leak. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Construction complete. Right, you're building yours. Um, you know what, just let them gotta be done sooner or later and just gives more reason to build up over here as well system survey complete life signs life signs have been detected coming from inside the atmosphere of this gas giant could it indicate the presence of some kind of biosphere go ahead and research that starbase administration office starbase custom office Atmospheric ecosystem. We have discovered a thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant Boss 4. Massive floating creatures have evolved bodies filled with lighter than air gases, follow the wind currents, and feed off the energy released by the gas giant's frequent lightning storms. These beings in turn support colonies of smaller animals that prey on atmospheric plankton and each other. Fascinating for a plus three in, in society. Have granted us new wisdom. All right, survey is increased again by 20%. What do we have this time? No propulsions. However, we could get star holds or improved Corvette hulls. If we build star holds, that's gonna be a massive investment on our end. But I think it's a worthwhile investment because although Corvette increasing the Corvette hull points is important, we can kind of supplement that with armors and whatnot. And building our star hold will take much longer. 
And I would want to establish some fortress points as well beforehand. How much? Uh, 77... 47. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, this is also an upgrade for what we... Uh, you know what? We'll go for actually improved Corvette hulls because... No, 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 stick with the plan. We'll go star holds. Get star holds. I know, I'm flipping back and forth way too Blocker much. Cleared. Space trap as uh, space traffic increases, larger and more defensible star bases are needed to maintain control over system space lanes. Scientists gain a trade for expertise in void craft. Wait, what is that? You're just a construction ship, right? Oh, repair the automated shipyard. I always forget to check here for some of these ones that just require research. Anyone home? Further studies of the lost civilization of Suetvov 4 have given rise to more questions than answers. The plain, sturdy structures are thousands of years old and all seem to have been constructed at roughly the same time, perhaps as brief as a single century. Similarly, any additions or renovations to the urban structures seem to be done planet-wide at sudden, widely separated intervals. The oddly punctured development of the society seems to show no applicable change in population size. Keep digging. Uh, crystalloid, crystallized asteroid. Unusual crystal appears to be protruding from the asteroid named ZA-19-94 in the solar system Eurus. The science ship Hrozgar site has identified the crystal as unusual but natural forming. It is theorized this asteroid was part of a large moon at some point in its life. The crystals are the result of intense heat and pressure from when this asteroid was still a part, deep part of the moon. Crystals or amazing. No, no, no. Crystals, because that's four rare crystals right there. More wrecked battleships. Holy crap. I mean, I'm not going to wreck them anytime soon, because they still give a nice chunk of engineering. Anomaly found. Uh, uh solar sailor, an abandoned ship has Anomaly been... Anomaly found. Pause. Wait, let me go through one of them. Okay, crash ship. We already know that one. Solar sail, an abandoned ship has been left to drift aimlessly above this planet. The massive sails protruding from it suggest that it relied on solar power to function. I can try. I just have to survive long enough to actually be able to try. Anomaly found. Believe me, it's not an effort of not me not wanting to try and restore some of these ancient titans and battleships we're finding. I just need to survive th to get to know how to do it. Protoplanet. According to Abibal on the science ship Southern Horn, the planet of Vestalis B1 is a protoplanet. A very young planet, barely a million years old, much, much younger than the other planets in the system. The exact nature of how this planet came to be is so late, so late is unknown and worthy of investigation. 100 experience, 3 physics, and 1,458 in society. Uh, craft scout craft. A small scout craft of some kind plowed into the surface of this asteroid around millennia ago, creating a shallow canyon. There is no visible cockpit on the ship, leading our scientists believed it was either piloted by remote or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. Although it is too damaged to be salvaged, the ship hasn't been picked up clean by looters yet. We will study the design for 1,515 engineering. Am I going to do Dead by Daylight? Yeah, I figure System I'll get to uh, hour 250, hop off, because I have to buy it and install it, because she challenged me. I ain't going back down from challenge, so I'm going to go after her in Dead by Daylight. But yeah, I figure around 250, so we got 13 more minutes of Stellars. And then I'll do Dead by Daylight for three hours or so. Solar Sailor, we have discovered an abandoned solar ship in orbit of Fuel 1. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interesting, albeit primitive design. Construction complete. Okay. Special project complete. Hold on, hold on. Gene clinics are finished. 
mining drone work ethic. The drones and their tireless endless work of extracting ever diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull but nevertheless informative subject of study. In fact, Mine networks on Bilia could stand to learn a thing or two about maximizing mineral extraction rates while convert serving energy. Additionally, we have found that the drones are not completely silent. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings, may be a mystery for another time. Fascinating automata for a 10% increase to mining station. <clears throat> And let's see. Anomaly found. Life signs. We already read that one before. Pause this. We... Ah, but the thing is, we already researched the... Uh, the coil guns, which are good shield killers. But I guess until we get like to level 3 or 4, I guess we could switch over to the energy siphon. Adapting the Tinyaki method of siphoning energy from ga uh, gaseous matter, it is possible to construct weapons draining energy from enemy ships. So you know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And on to traditions, a righteous cause or frontier spirit. We'll go for frontier spirit because that's something immediately with our colonies that we can benefit from. Filled with optimism, our citizens flock to our new colonies. For them, they offer great opportunities and a promise of good fortune. Go ahead for that. Wasker still needs a little bit. Silicon life form. Some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Inham 5. At best, as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there's evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not Anomaly too surprising. Found. The RNG of this game can be really bad sometimes. I've I've gone in one playthrough to like turn 50 before I saw my first ship upgrade to destroyers. That's how bad it can be. Year 50, not turn 50. Unusual energy readings. Excuse me. I go. <clears throat> oh, sorry, that one was coming up. A final remnant. <clears throat> uh, it might have been a glitch in our assistance, or it could be a sign of something more. Yeah, go ahead and research that. Magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of Itham 7 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the Harat Hrazgar site. This rare event has interchanged the position of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ships, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. 773 physics. Blocker cleared. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Mass locking has been researched. Anomaly found. Heated rhythm. Sensors pick up rhythmic movements of the hellish surface of Vestilius 1. All right, so there's global energy management, but our energy did recover. How long will this take? 49. This one will take 33, and it would increase our research as well. Zero-G laboratories. A lot of critical research can only be done in a zero-gravity environment, which these specialized laboratories are imminently designed for. So we'll go ahead for that. Geothermal. The measured pounding observed from orbit is the motion of immense and ancient geothermal extractors, breathing their last, built and then abandoned at some point in the past. The vast batteries of the disintegrating machinery have been pumping up superheated fluids from the planet's core ever since. Their stored capacitors are all broken or leaking, but some energy can still be siphoned from them. Excellent. An odd factor. A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Rigor Prime. Ah. The building and its state of decay tells of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. Our population would easily be able to use the facility to add the colony's production output. 
Odd factory worker jobs. Buy one. I never actually knew if this led to anything. But it does provide Locker's us with clean. some alloys. I do know it uh, it exacts a toll. Alright, so we'll go for... Oh, here we go. Next ascension. Uh, we'll go for tech cost from empire size. Minus 25% and 2,000 unity. Alright, another ascension point. Our empire size did really expand badly. But I mean, if we make enough, the the bad side of it can be outweighed by the benefits. Grasp the void. The vast expanse of space of the galaxy holds limitless reaches for those empires that understand how to maintain their grasp on the void. Plus 5 to starbase capacity, FTL speed increased by 15%, survey speed increased by 15%, anomaly research speed by 15 archaeology excavation by 15 FTL travel technologies now appear 1.5 times than our normal weight. I think, yeah, we'll go for that. If anything, just to, uh, once again, improve our surveying, because there's just so much that we need to do. Yeah, see, look how fast anomaly that's going. Found. A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this planet. Uh, oh no, it's a signs about it. We already read that. System survey complete. Blocker cleared. The faithful have claimed a new world. All right, Wasker has been claimed. Signs of battle. There is clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Chigaris One at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the planet is pockmarked with craters from stray weapons blasts, and scans from the ISS Peripolis has picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains after all the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Science Officer Hanifilis is preparing an expedition to shift through these derelict hulls for any valuable technologies. Situation log updated. Construction complete. System survey complete. City district, alloy foundry. Blocker cleared. Alright, go ahead and move up here. That's our influence. All right, our influence has built up quite a bit now. Don't know how much longer you'll be on. All right, well, I mean, if that's the case, it's like four minutes to the target goal that I said, why don't I hop off and get this going then, just so that we can get around in for sure. Go ahead and save that. Alright, so end that right there. So, yeah, quick end to Solaris, folks. So, sorry to anyone who was really invested in that, but I did save. I did want to play with Sour. I did want to play some Dead by Daylight. And, yeah, don't worry, Sour. I still have to download the game, so it's going to take me a little bit as well. But anyway, folks, to anyone who has invested to Stellaris tonight, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a good morning, good night, wherever you may be. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're keeping warm because it's fucking cold. Won't be going away for long. Just we'll be hopping off, getting the game downloaded, and then we'll be right back on with the new subtitles for everything. And we'll be playing some Dead by Daylight. And we're going to take up Sour on her challenge. We're going to see what that leads to. It's going to be utter humiliation, but for who? Me. That's who.
Anyway, see you all later. Bye. And Sour, see you in a bit.